What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Aether Paradise. Got to see a few things, you know, surprising things. Weird things. Familiar things. All that things, you know? Everything. Okay, so yeah, we, 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 we went to the Aether uh, Foundation, and we... Probably went to the beginning of where this whole thing started this whole story. I should say and uh, We met up with, with what could potentially be an ultra beast and now We are back in or we're here in Ula Ula Island just to you know take care of more business because you know our adventure still continues and whatnot and Well here we are in a Pokemon Center now before we do anything guys We're just gonna go heal up our Pokemon because we, we we've been through a lot like a lot a lot like so much it's ridiculous a lot all right please heal my pokemon so oola 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 island where what, what, what can we expect in this whole place right here i don't even know uh we already battled how uh we made we made quick work of them even though you know our first pokemon got beat to a bloody pulp and all that stuff and uh let's see what can we buy right here the technical machine shop all right uh, oh, look at that. Okay, so it looks like there's quite a few moves that I can actually buy from here. Okay, so I am most definitely going to buy Bulldoze. I need that. Swords Dance, Aerial Ace is another one. And you know what? Smackdown. Laneth the Smack It Down on everybody's candy, you know what. So, okay, so that is that right there. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. There is a red flag next to a... Uh, there's a red flag next to uh, a little something, and... Well, hello there. How you doing there, baby? Draven, it's been a while since I saw you around. But weren't you supposed to meet with the professor at Melia Garden? Okay, well, she won't allow us to pass by. I see... I see a cell right there. Well, I can't get it yet, but you know what? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go, you know, do that. You know, go meet up with the professor Kukui. And, well, as you can see, here we are in the Mali Garden. And Hal's already there. He's like, I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Mally Garden. I'll start my research, or I'll start my search uh, from the bridge here. Why don't you start going around the garden? Okay, no problem. Let's go around the garden, and wow, he's like easily entertained. You really can't get mad at this kid. You really can't. So we're going to be walking around, seeing what we can actually find in the garden right here. And there are Pokemon you can find here. Not interested in catching them just yet. Uh, let's see. Some of the Pokemon that you can find a little Meowth, a Requinid, a Requinid, Eridos, Cottony, Ladian, Masquerain, Pedalil, Poliwag, and and Psyduck. So some pretty cool Pokemon. And well, as you can see, there are some shrines, there are some seats. Come on, Slowpoke, let's take it easy, okay? Well, I guess you're always taking it easy, huh? You're such a slowpoke, Slowpoke. <laughs> You're such a slowpoke, slowpoke. And, well, we're going to be having a battle right here. All right, time for the commemorative photo. Just you lose to me, okay? Man, they expect us to lose, but we're not going to lose right here. So, here we go. Going up against Sightseer Mitch. And, well, Mitch is going to be coming out with his uh, Cantonian Persian. Oh, God. Okay, so I thought I was going to be screwed up right there, but nope. Nope, they picked the right Pokemon for this one, so let's go straight for a Thundershock right here. And a Thundershock nearly destroys Persian. And here comes a Screech attack, so that could be bad for us right there. So let's go right ahead and go for a Wild Charge. And Wild Charge does it again. There goes Persian. Goodbye. All right, all right. We took a little bit of damage, which is okay. Now, let's see. He's going to be coming out with Marowak. I'm assuming he's coming with a Cantonian one, so let's go straight to Joker. Last episode, too. Joker finally evolved into Primaria, and it's looking like a Prima Donna. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, Marowak. Cantonian Marowak. You got to love him, but here comes a Sparkling Aria. Let's go for the win. Now, something that I've learned about the starter Pokemon in Alola is that they do have a signature move. Sparkling Aria happens to be Primaria's, uh, Primaria's uh, signature move. And look at that. Puka grows to level 37. And yes, he wasn't even happy at all. 
Mm -mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a search around right here. And, uh, well, let's see. You can fish right here. You can find Pokemon. And there is an item right here at the very corner. Grabbing this. And we got ourselves a grassy seed. And, well, let's move on ahead. Now, we can't swim in this thing right now. We can't, but eventually, hopefully we can. And, yes, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon right now. And look at that. We have found ourselves a Poliwag. And, well, let's see. You know what? We're going to run away. Now I know where to find a Poliwag to actually... You know, make it into poly swag and whatnot. So, let's continue on right here. And, well, let's see what else we can actually find to do this area right now. He's going to be in the way. So, we're going to just, like, he's allowing us to just search. Even though I kind of just want to get him out, get, get out of the way. And we have found another item right here. And it's a luxury ball. Not a bad Pokeball. If you want to make Pokemon friendly. I think she wants the battle, which she does. And today is Pokemon Day. No, well, every day is Pokemon Day. Every day is Pokemon Day. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Preschooler Ailey wants the battle. And Cleffa is your Pokemon. Okay, let's bring it. Alright, Puka. You know what to do. Time to finish up. Time to finish up this Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for a Psychic Attack. And... Who would ever thought that, you know, eventually Pikachu's right, like, evolutionary form will have, it would have a secondary form. That is awesome. Pretty awesome for me. I mean, now I know what to do with a Raichu. If you guys haven't seen it in, like, Pokemon Yellow or Pokemon uh, Leaf Green, I don't evolve my Pikachus because, well, I like Pikachu better than Raichu, given the fact that, you know, it's a little bit weaker than Pikachu, but, you know, it's a choice. It's a choice. It, you better think. You, you 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 have to thank the the cartoons for that one right there. Uh, actually, why do I keep on doing that? All right, let's go straight for Pokemon. Let's go right here, and you know what? Let's go with a dump truck right here. So far, my Pokemon are evened up. I did a pretty good job with all that stuff too. So, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Like, her presence is so big. Water sure is clear here, huh? I wonder if Pokemon are all hiding under the shadows of the rocks or something. Which they are. Okay, so, let's see. There's nothing right there. We gotta go towards the edge. And go right here. And we might find a trainer here. What in the world is the secret of the pond in this garden? So there's a secret, huh? I wanna know what secrets are. Okay. And you can actually fish right here too, guys. You can find some interesting Pokemon such as Goldeen and Magikarp. And, uh, well, they're not really interesting Pokemon, but, you know, there's still Pokemon that you can actually get. And, let's see. Where, oh, where should, oh, there's the Professor. Okay, so, the Professor has been waiting for us right here in front of the ice cream shop. And he's like, oh, Professor Kukui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are extra shi uh, extra bright today. Did something big happen? Uh, it sure did. Only is something amazing. Professor, professor, you gotta hear this. The ultra wormhole opened up like right in front of us, and there are ultra beasts in there. You've got to tell Professor Burnett too. Whew. You got to see the ultra wormhole and a ultra beast. This is amazing. Oh yeah. Sounds like even a better reason for an even better reason to train hard. Yeah, or on the island challenge, man. I can't even speak with this guy the way he speaks and stuff. Okay, all right. Your next trial is up on Mount ha Hakulani. You can catch the bus to get there. Just head up to the bus of Route 10. Yeah. You guys can go ahead without me, Professor. Uh, I've got a hot date with the masala shop. The masala shop. Visiting everyone, every last one of them is my own personal island challenge. Yeah. Roger that, good buddy. I'll be waiting at the bus stop, Draven, whenever you're ready. Okay, all right. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got some stuff to do, and, well, I was like, Hey, Draven, did you know? Uh, know what? There's an observatory up top of Mount Hukalani. And you do know that it's, uh... You do know what it is they do at... Uh, 
at in an observatory, right? Hope so, cuz I sure as heck don't. Now I'm out! Bye bye Well, he, he's, he is very happy. Super happy and stuff. Okay, so... Before we leave, let's go ahead and grab some, some of these stuff right here. You can actually find a rare candy bar. And I think there's something right behind here, too. That way I can cover all my bases. Yes, there is something right here. And yes, we are going to get attacked by a Pokemon. No surprise there. And what could this Pokemon be? It is a Poliwag. It's kind of telling me, hey, man, come on, capture me. Capture me, please. And it is at level 26. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to capture it. Let's go with the Poison Jab. Hopefully it doesn't faint. And that right there is a double slap. Crap baskets on it. How are you slapping me? Oh, yeah, with your toe. Forgot. All right, here we go. Poison Jab. And that, well, okay, so I was, I was too, uh, yeah, I was a little too thoughtful on that one right there. So, let's see, what can we, okay, let's grab this item right here, and here we found ourselves a big mushroom. Not a bad item at all, and well, let's see, I think we can go right there if we wanted to. There's something, and we can battle somebody right here. I think this is the last trainer we can actually battle, and there could be a cell around here, too. Alright, so we're getting challenged by Sights here, Akali, and, well, here she is throwing out her Raticate. So here we go with Dump Truck. Time to go for a proper battle right here, and, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a Poison Jab. Now, obviously she is from Kanto because of the, the Radita. And here comes a poison jab. And Raticate is just poison. Okay, so now, now we're working with something. We are working with something, and it is getting poison to nobody's end. And we got one more attack to go to. So let's go with a crunch attack. Let's see who has the let's see who has the sharpest bite. And here comes the crunch attack. Crunch attack does it. Say goodbye to good old Radita from Kanto. And she is going to be coming out with a Raichu, so obviously this is going to be a Cantonian Raichu, so let's go with Terra Ruff. Hopefully, let's just say hopefully it will actually it will actually beat it right here. So here we go, Cantonian Ra Raichu, female version, and well, let's see. Let's go with some Rock Tomb, and Raichu right here going for a Thundershock. Still can't affect my Terra Ruff, and well, there we go. And it lowers its speed just a little bit. So let's go ahead and try it one more time with the Rock Tomb. And crap. Terror Ruff, come on. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Yeah, it, yeah we're going to be training this Pokemon like nobody's business. But let's go with Drago right here. We're making this Raichu look, like, look better than what it really is. So let's go right ahead. And go for a Dragon Tail attack. And here comes Thundershock again. Not effective. And here we go. Dragon Tail. Takes a lot of HP. So let's go again one more time with the Dragon Tail. And again, not effective. But it does take more HP. So here we go. And crap! Riot you with a... Yeah, with the static. So let's go with Dragon uh, Tail again. And here comes another thunder, uh, Thunderbolt. And it nearly defeats Drago. But here we go. Dragon Tail for the win. Finally! And that is a good increase on its HP or on its, on its points right there. And yes, we have defeated this guy. Oh my god. Oh, poor Drago. Okay, so let's get this little liquid thing right here. Let's heal it. That's right. There we go. Let's get it. Come on, Drago. You can do this. And there you go. Okay, so it's finally healed. It won't hate me as much, but it's still something. And, well... Let's see. I think we've already defeated her. Is there anything else around here that I need to check? Probably a cell. Not getting attacked by a Pokemon. You know what? Let's go ahead and put on a Repel. I don't want to get attacked by a Pokemon, but it kind of feels like we are. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are my Repels? There you go. Got three of those little suckers back. 
And... Alright, let's go. Let's see. Nothing right here. There could be a cell right here. Ah, there it is. We found another Zygarde uh, cube. And, well, I think that is all for that. We could find something else right here. I'm trying to walk through these whole things right here. And... Well, let's go down the middle. And our repel has ended, so let's just walk away. And just like that, we've completed the whole melee or the garden right here. And Miley, Miley City and our girlfriend right here won't let us pass. She's like, Draven, would you mind if I asked you something? You can ask me anything, baby. Is it about Nebby? Oh, it is. Yes, I want to take Nebby up to uh, take Nebby to visit the Ula Ula ruins, but they are located deep in the large desert. I don't want to ask you, uh, that much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Miley uh, Library. There's a book I want to look up there. Maybe you'd be even willing. Uh, you'd be willing to help me. I know that Miley Li Library is here within the city uh, of Miley somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Pew. Aww. Well, I could help her out. I do want to help her out, but let's grab this first. Okay, so we got the Zygarde cube. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And from there, let's go right... Uh, let's go take a look at the city, too. I want to look at that. And then think about training my Pokemon, too. I don't know. That should work. And just like that, my Pokemon are now healed. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at the, at Ma Mali, Malai City, Mali, Mali, Malai, I can't even pronounce these things right. And, well, let's see, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you can actually find right here. Now, once you enter here, Rotom's coming out, he's like, Professor. Huh. Why, hello there, Rotom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokedex of yours? Never better. Huh. Wait, that looks like Professor Oak. Oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher and looking into the reg uh, regional variants found uh, around here. And you must be Draven, huh? Young Kakui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you be sure to help uh, this fun young boy on his trip around the islands, all right? Who, who do you think you're talking to? Of course I'm going to do that. Hmm, well... And you, Draven, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it and as much as love and care as any parent. I'll be I'll be in the Mali Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you're having trouble finding the library, just follow the Black, uh, the black Brick Road. Black Brick Road, I can't say that. Uh, meaning the patterns on the uh, on these paths, of course. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow the pattern, and you and you'll get there. You'll get to get there, or something like that. Okay. All right. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, so that's exactly where we're gonna be going next. And there's quite a few things that you can actually find right here, which I might have to skip skip over. Um. Let's see, this place right here is the Malsada shop, I believe. No, that's the Malsada shop. This right here is the Sushi High ro like ro the Sushi High Roller. And I think there are like three items in there, I think. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Okay, so let's just move on right here. There are there's also a oh yeah, there's a boutique right here. Or a saloon. And let's see what kind of uh, new clothes we can actually buy right here. If we can actually afford it. And... Well, let's see. There's a sporty tank. There is a sporty tank too. We'll grab a fruit one. And they only sell three of these little suckers. So that's going to be gone. And wow. Okay. So yeah, we can wear some pants. Some camo pants. Green pants. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, these things are looking pretty cool. Like they, they, the clothes are getting better and better by the by by the island. So let's see, which one should I should I buy? Huh? The shorts are looking good. You know what? Let's go with let's go with the cutoff jeans right here. 
cut off. Oh, we don't have enough money. Good gravy. Okay, so that's a lot. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the section option. Let's go with this one right here. Oh, no, not that one, but this one right here. Uh, how about... Do you have rat? Like... Do you have red? Nope. Purple. Navy blue. You know what? Let's go with the navy blue right here. Okay, so let's get that. And we can buy some shoes if we wanted to. And, yeah, the shoes are looking a little... Yeah, never mind. Okay. How about the sporty backpack? We need a new backpack. Huh. Backpack is looking pretty nice. Unfortunately, we can't afford any of these things, so... Yeah, we kind of screwed ourselves over. Let's go with the cap. Uh, street cap. Thunderbolt. Let's go with the Thunderbolt cap. What's the Thunderbolt about that one? It's just the same. Um... Okay, sports cap. Never mind. Let's go with the next one right here. Uh, mirrored sunglasses. Oh, we could go with sunglasses, but they cost like an arm and a leg too for me right now. Okay, and then... Yeah, they, they, they're just like too much. So we're just going to be buying the pants right here, okay? And there we go. And let's see, let's see. That's pretty much it right there. So let's go ahead and move on. See what else we can actually find into this area right here. Let's see a saloon. Let's go to the apparel shop. There is an apparel shop right next to it or... Actually, hold on. Oh, the saloon. Okay, this was the apparel shop. Never mind. The saloon is the next area right there. So let's go... Let's see. There's nothing right here that you can actually find. Um, pretty sure there is an item right here that you can grab or no there's a cell and would you look at that our girlfriend is right in front of the library and she's like Draven I'm sorry I ended up getting lost yet again I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into an apparel shop and then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock so I bought it even though I don't even think I ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it but the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library. Where to find uh, the library. So I guess I could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store if I just kept on going. And whoa, hold on just a sec. Holy crud. Okay, so. Yeek! It's Hapu. Driven, been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to the Tapu. So, Draven, who might this be? Oh, hello. My name is Lily. My apologies is if Mudzell spooked uh, you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um, studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. <laughs> well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you uh, the way, uh, way whenever you'd like to go. My mudsdale here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry two. <laughs> Thank you for your offer. She looks mean, but that mudsdale is just majestic. It is a majestic Pokemon. A very, very majestic Pokemon. Holy crud. Shall we check out the melee library first, though, since we are here? Whatever you say, homie. Or baby. So here we are in the library, and well, it's a lot. There's not really isn't a lot that you can find right here, but the book I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and lessons, legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Hmm. You don't say. Okay. Okay. So let's see. First is first. There is something outside that I need to check up on. There is something outside, and that will be at nighttime because apparently a cell would be would be lying around right there. So let's go right here, and let's go right ahead and follow our girlfriend up to the stairs right here. And well, look at that. She is looking. She is not ditzy, but she is good looking. Hmm. It must be a very, a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. 
Whoa, where did she come from? Oh, she looks, uh... Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read! Oh, of course! Well, it is titled The Light of Alola. I'll just, um, read it aloud, shall I? The empty sky broke asunder. Asunder. That's a nice word right here. I keep on learning new words, guys. Asunder. A hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it. The beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it. But in the end, they lost the fight. Then did the beast did uh, brings the uh, bring the brings the dark cast its uh, paw on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such finished things. It's rhyming, guys. It really is. Uh, let's see. Beast of sun and beast of moon. Through their union, they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born. The island guardians would be would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lunala, new Lunala with song of flute. Two tongues rang out across the altar, a perfect pair ever after mute. Sounds like a poem. Isn't it great? My dad's books are great. What? I mean, yes, it is. But when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look uh, look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had uh, I had to have all my books, uh, my dad's books, moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I could tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know why you've come to Alola, uh, Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Draven? Good luck with it. I read uh, like I read that Lula Ula Ula Island's electric trial can be reached by the bus at Route 10. Well, yeah, well, it's a uh, uh, Route 10. Okay, we can go to Route 10 right here. So that pretty much concludes this episode, guys. I know, very short, not really. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going up to Route 10 and going into the trial if we can. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what ends up happening, you know, fun stuff, pretty fun stuff right here. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.